So this is going to be a quick video to show you guys how to use the new Easy Offset Wizard that's in our Unified Firmware 2.9 and higher. So before you start this, you want to make sure your hot end is heated to above 200 degrees Celsius. I already have this one set to 210. I'm going to go ahead and hit the menu button, go down to configuration, and then hit Easy Offset Wizard. It's going to home the printer as soon as I press this button. And this will work whether you have a CR Touch or an Easy ABL or BL Touch. You just have to have a bed leveling probe. Now it says click to begin. So I'm going to go ahead and click. So it's going to put the nozzle in a position here. I'm going to take my sheet of paper and we're going to move this down in different increments. There's move 1, 0.1, and 0.25. I typically just do the 0.25. And we're going to go ahead and move this down until the nozzle catches the paper. So right here, we're starting to get some drag. I'm going to go up a little bit. That's too loose. And just go down one touch. And go ahead and press the button. Go down to done. And now it's going to move to the next position here. And we just repeat this for all three probes. Again, I'm going to do the 0 0.025. You can do the 1 or 0 0.1, but I prefer to go in the smaller increments. Right there is about good. I'm going to hit done again. And this will be the last one. Bring that nozzle down again. And you want it to grab the paper where there's just enough touching where it grabs the paper, but it doesn't try to tear it when you pull it. So you should still be able to move it back and forth. And that's good. Right about there. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to done. It'll ask me if I want to update my probe offset. I'll tell it yes, and that's it. So now when I go to print, it'll have a perfect Z offset. Now, if for some reason you still need to adjust it, you can press the screen twice, and it'll bring up the baby step menu, which you can then further adjust your first layer. But not only is this doing compensation for the offset, but it's also going to measure if there's any twist or something off with your X gantry, and it'll compensate for that as well as setting your Z offset. So hope this quick video was helpful, and I'll see you guys on the next one.